things playing live and recording are very different things the 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 dynamics required for live are are, are totally different to what you need in the studio and what happens like what i found is if i've been out playing live a lot you know or for a period of time i haven't been in the studio when you get in the studio i have to really actually clean up my playing a little bit not that it's dirty playing live but it's just it's a different dynamic you know and in the studio, I just have to, you know, I have to be careful. Like, it's a tendency, you can hear it on this side. This is a B15 we're playing through here. And it's got quite a, an aggressive top end to it. Even though it's a, a little old vintage amp that all the soul guys used to use. <laughs> this is James Jamerson used to use one of these, I believe. Um, you just have to be careful of things like, you know, in between, like if you say. But live as well, you know, you do that through a PA and it's like. So, you know, do it silently, you know. So you, you got to be careful not to slur, you know, when you play some of these things. And that, and that becomes, more, you can get away with a little bit of that live, of course. But when in the studio, those things really jump out of a track big time. And uh, any kind of sloppiness or, you know, I mean, there's going, going to be a certain amount of string noise. I use flat wine strings, so I avoid a little bit of, you know, for this reason a round wine, you'd hear you don't get that from flat ones. You, know, you get a different thing. Flat ones kind of accentuate those clicks a lot more. You get a lot more of that from a flat one string. 